Hey everybody, how are you this morning? Well, I'm going to do a little bit different video this morning. I'm not doing a tutorial and I'm not doing a review. And no, I have not completely lost my mind. Okay, maybe just a little. But I have been following Wayne from Gloss Makeup Artist, who is just absolutely terrific makeup artist. If you haven't been following his channel, you really must. And he did a great video on how not to look old. And some of the pointers that he gave was um, not to use too much fake tan, uh, don't over arch your eyebrows, um, don't overline your lip, and um, be careful of the um, mark at your chin from your foundation to your neckline. And let's see, oh yes, and, and also the um, under eye liner, not to just use under eye liner on the bottom of your eyes because it draws it down. So I thought, well, excellent tips, but I wonder if people can actually visualize um, what he's talking about. So what I did was I did this half of my face the way that I would normally do it and I did the other half of my face with the pointers that he told us not to do. So what I did on this side of the face was I used um, some light blue and I know there's a lot of controversy about whether women our age can use color or not and I say we absolutely can use color still but we just can't seem to do it as heavy as we used to when we were younger. Now we can do it a little heavier at night when we're going out because of course the light changes so you have to adjust accordingly but for the most part absolutely color is great just you know keep it keep it down a bit don't don't overdo it have it enhance your eye color rather than draw attention to your face so um, the I also lined my eye just very lightly and I and I followed the same color underneath and I did that little line that I do just a little bit at the tip to bring my eye up um, this is my natural shape of my eyebrow and I just filled it in a little bit where it was sparse and I know my face is still a little red from the peel but I filled in just with my natural light pink lipstick that I like and my hair of course is just the way that it always is just sort of smoothed out and simple so now I hope I'm not making you dizzy moving that back and forth but are you ready drum roll please and there you have it okay so I did tease my hair out a little bit just to show you I mean I don't like the fullness in my hair some people carry it off absolutely beautifully and I'm sure it has to do with the shape of your face and whether your hair is thin so you need to tease it up a bit but for me I have thick hair so I find when it sticks out that much that definitely ages me also now the other thing that I did is that I I um, overarched my eyebrow let me just keep this paper straight so I overarched the eyebrow to give it and I think it sort of gives it a um, I don't know it gives me a sort of funny expression I think um, sort of like what happens to people that do the Botox and do too much and their eyes constantly on that up motion and doesn't seem to move. And so I used the same exact shade of blue on my eye but I did a little bit heavier hand. And I didn't do a liner, I just did a liner on the bottom which I think definitely draws my eye down. So I put on, I, what I did was I used a um, dark, like a, the Lunar um, um, from NARS and I put that on heavy rather than fake tan because I didn't want to put any chemicals on my skin so I darkened that up and did a lot of extra pink and as you can see I did that overlining of the eye I don't know about you but I look like a totally totally different person want to see again okay there's me what I normally look like and here are all the things that Wayne was talking about oh my gosh he's 100% right Wayne, you're a genius. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. See you later.